So AI has officially disrupted SEO. It has become even harder to compete. We will need all the help that we can get from different SEO tools. But if you look at the plans of well-known tools like Ahrefs or Surfer SEO, not every beginner can afford those monthly fees. So in this video, I will review the top three SEO tools that we can add to our arsenal this year. To start in SEO, you of course will need some keyword research tools. I will start with my favorite free tool. This neat tool is called Keyword Surfer Chrome extension. It's a part of Surfer SEO and it gives you cool keyword ideas and volumes right there in your Google search results. For example, if you search for best fireplace tools, this extension will show you related keywords and their search volumes. So you will quickly find out that my original keyword idea wasn't great because there is another related keyword fireplace toolset that has 22,000 search volume versus just about 500 in the first keyword idea that I had. It also adds to the search results a lot of information about the competitors' pages that rank high here, like the estimate traffic volume to each page, the word count on each page, and how many times the exact keyword was used on them. Then there is Google Trends, totally free and super helpful. Just make sure that you have the right country settings. For example, I want to target US-based audience with my content, so I've set this to the United States. Now, you can spot new and rising keywords in your niche, like if you're into fashion, type that here in the initial keyword. I would suggest one more setting here. By default, it will show you the growth for the past day, but to see a trend, you need a bigger time frame. I would change this at least to the past 12 months. If you scroll down the page, Google Trends will show you here the related topics and related queries. So that gives a lot more keyword ideas and you can see how trendy they are. You won't get the exact keyword search volume in Google Trends, but it's a good place to start your research on topics that people currently care about. Exploding Topics is another awesome tool. It's free and it lets you see what's buzzing in different niches. So your research will start with pulling up these categories. Say you selected e-commerce. Then you can spot trends like AI generators that are picking up steam, especially since the last year. Super useful for finding fresh topics that aren't too competitive yet. The next free tool is the blog ideas generator from HubSpot. Start by adding what your blog is about, and this free tool will create title ideas and suggested SEO keywords for you in seconds. If you don't have a HubSpot free account, you will be prompted to create one. It is totally free and you don't have to add a credit card. After my input, it gave me a list of titles and SEO keywords ideas based on what my blog is about. You can check which one you like the most, generate more options based on your preferred one, and then you can even create an outline for the blog post. On top of that, you can generate a draft of your blog post with a template and initial AI-generated sections for you to edit and add your unique ideas and perspective. This is a great and free tool to make your blog writing process faster and easier. And HubSpot has a lot more content and resources to help with your blog creation and writing process. Make sure to explore and take advantage of all the free content and tools. Thank you to HubSpot for sponsoring this part of the video. Okay, so you've got some keywords ready using all the free keyword research tools that I mentioned so far. And now it's time to write the content. How do we do that? Well, I've got a bunch of free tools for this as well. You can start with Surfer SEO's free article outline generator. By the way, I will give you a link to this tool just like everything else that I mentioned in this video in the description below. Imagine you're writing about Pinterest marketing for beginners. You pop into Surfer, hit generate outline and bam, it gives you a bunch of subheading ideas. Remember, these are just suggestions, not a strict template, but they're helpful suggestions because they're based on the analysis that Surfer made of your top competitors and on the keyword research that the tool has done on the background for this topic. When you start writing, remember that while AI tools like ChatGPT can help you draft your articles, I would still say that you should do your best to stick to writing your articles yourself. 
Google's recent helpful content updates are all about valuing real human experiences over AI-generated content. So use the AI tools for a rough draft if you must, but then give it a thorough human touch. When you start writing, tools like Grammarly can help you make your content clear and free of mistakes. Or you might like the interface of another similar tool called Hemingway Editor. Check it out too. This one will highlight the text when you have a very long sentence, which makes it harder for users to read and can negatively affect your Google SEO. It will highlight the words that make your text sound too formal and will suggest that you replace them with simpler alternatives. So your process has been so far accommodated with only three tools I mentioned in this video. You use them to find your keywords, to generate an outline, and even to edit your content. But this is not it. You can still work with other free SEO tools to track your progress and rankings after you hit publish. First, you should use Google Search Console, which is free and it shows you which keywords you rank for, as well as it alerts you on any indexation and technical issues on your site. Of course, Google Analytics is also free and you definitely should have it installed on your site. And you probably didn't know, but there is also a free keyword rank checker from Ahrefs. It will help you see how your articles are performing. For example, I will search for the keyword Pinterest reverse image search, and I have here an article on my blog about it. As a result, I can see that in the United States, my post ranks number 12. It also shows you a bunch of other factors like it shows my domain authority at 55, the number of backlinks to this post is 8, and links come from three different domains. Now let's talk about free link building tools. Link building is something that can help your blog start ranking for more competitive keywords. There are two ways to get those links. First is outreach to make guest posts on other websites. And the second is to do link exchange with other blogs in your niche. But here you need to be careful too, because if you exchange too many links with the same blogs, Google might also consider this as an attempt to manipulate their algorithm. In this sense, you should look into ABC link exchanges. If this is a new term for you, what it means is that you will add your link from site A to site B and in exchange the other side will add a link to your website from site C. So there is no link exchange between sites A and B and it's harder for Google to spot those ABC link exchanges. If it's something new that you learned from this video, then give me a like. It helps the channel immensely and it motivates me to share even more insightful information in my videos. And you will never guess which platform you can start with to find the right people that you could send your outreach to. It's LinkedIn. You see, most of the people on LinkedIn will mention their position in a company. So you need to use the LinkedIn search feature and type in first the name of the company or the website that you want to get a backlink from. So let's try Forbes and add something like content manager or editor or SEO manager. Then you might want to filter the results just to see people in these positions. Depending on where you live, sometimes it just makes sense to filter out the results from your country because they will be the first ones appearing on the list. And I will click on filters and choose only the results from the United States. Once you get the list of people, you can try to connect with them right here on LinkedIn. But there are more free platforms for link building. Maybe you heard about Herolinks. It's a free platform that recently changed its name to Connectively. It helps content creators or experts on certain topics connect with journalists who can ask for quotes and in return they usually will give a backlink to you. How it works is that journalists are writing content daily, but they are not experts in all the topics that they need to cover. So they often need to quote an expert and you just need to submit your reply to their request and hopefully they will choose your answer because they usually get many replies through this platform. Some of these websites will give you do follow links and other links will be just no follow links. But who cares if it comes from a huge authority site at the level of Forbes, for example. Google will not leave a link from Forbes unnoticed, even if it is a no follow link. This platform is not for buying links. It is a free platform and the backlinks that you get from these authority sites are considered high quality 
organic backlinks. I will name a few more alternatives to Connectively that you can also join. One is called Pitch Rate and the other is called Help a B2B writer. If this is the first time you heard about platforms like this that connect you with journalists and writers who can add your links organically for free, and links are usually, by the way, from the websites with higher domain authority, well, if you didn't give me a like earlier, maybe it's best time to do it now. If you want more of my videos in your feed, then subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications. And before you close this window, I wanted to show you that Google SEO is not the only way to get traffic to your website for free. Check my video linked up there to see how I get about 80,000 monthly visitors to my blog from Pinterest for free. I'll see you in that next video.